Hey everybody, my name is Nick. Um, I'm making this video from the north side of the city of Chicago in Uptown. It's about 7.30 p.m. June 2nd, 2020. I wanted to make this video, I didn't want to make this video, but I wanted to engage in a conversation to my fellow Italian Americans there. I really want to ask some of you who you think you are. Not only in the sense of who the fuck do you think you, you are by talking the way you do, but really truly, who do you think you are? As a person, as a citizen, as a patriot? As a son or grandson of an immigrant? It, it really makes me sick, you know, to my stomach to hear some of you disenfranchise and delegitimize people who are struggling as if you have, you have no idea what the fuck that is and I'm I have been very vocal in the past with my you know immediate family and, 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 and you know, some of my friends and colleagues but it's ridiculous where have you arrived in your life that makes you truly think you're better than someone and then legitimize that being better than someone based on the fact that you're Italian American? Most of you can't even pronounce your own last names. Or even locate on a map where your family members descended from. And we could talk about how that's ridiculous, you know, because it is and it's kind of funny. But do you ever ask yourself why? Why do you think that is? The way it is. Why do you think you, you, we can't even have this conversation? in Italian or in dialect. I can because I, I, I took it upon myself to, to learn because I was fucking confused being a part of a group of people who were so proud but didn't even know what they were proud for or proud of. So do you ever realize why it is you can't speak Italian? You, 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 you're, you're your family has very, you know, little to no memories of what it was like coming from southern Italy. It's because when you got here, you meaning you as a whole of descendants from southern Italy were despised too. Despised to the point where most of you had to forget your culture, forget your language, and assimilate. So if anything, and most people know that, the hard times that Italians had when they got here, absolutely. fucking lutely But I'm saying, it's within that same humiliate, humiliation, with the same pain that you can hear in the voice of certain family members when they talk about certain events or memories, those same, that same type of evidence should allow you actually to be more compassionate to others who are trying to get the same piece of the cake that we're all trying to get here in the USA. 
So when I see posts of some of you calling people who are standing up for themselves animals, looters, other words that I'm not even going to say on camera, it makes me fucking sick. Because it just goes to show that you don't even know who you are. Or, or what it really means to be a first, second, third generation Italian American. You know, our family members didn't just decide all of a sudden to one day go sailing across the sea just to see what was on the other side. A long time ago. People were struggling. That's why they came here. Because they were looked as. Unequal. And illegitimate. In their own country. That's why they came here. And that's supposed to be who you represent. So. I just don't get it. Why are you proud? Being proud can't allow you to delegitimize other people's struggle. If you're power, if you're proud of overcoming a struggle, how, how can you do that? To, to what point? To which degree? Do you think you represent where you can delegitimize people's struggle based on the fact that somehow you overcame the struggle of your ancestors? I just don't get it. So I am talking to you guys who I've attempted to engage in conversations the most of my for most of my life, for which my mother has been scared that I'm going to open my mouth to talk to some of you guys. Not to say because she's scared, because she has prejudices, and she's scared that she's going to, that I'm going to misrepresent her. She's scared of how you guys are going to react. So how crazy is that? And that's what I don't understand. We should celebrate our struggle. Or we should celebrate other struggles that exist, which we have overcome based on our own history and our own position in society, which has changed. By understanding that that's the same history that most of us come from here. And some of us, the, we, you know, which has led to us, you know, engaging in this conversation, aren't there and aren't given that respect. See, this is what I also don't understand about respect, you know. We Italian Americans, we are so proud of being respectful, being loyal, to listen when you're being talked to. To respect people who are asking for respect. And yet at the same time, we are delegitimizing people who are doing those exact same things and, and, and represent those same family, family values that I was just talking about. So I honestly don't understand where, where you're proud, so proud of being Italian American, but you don't allow that action of being proud to be understanding of others who are going through terrible things in the same place 
in which you live. And for a lot longer than you had. I mean, most, you know, I'm third generation. I think most of us are here. You know, we're talking about 100 years, 120 years. Okay? This conversation is to... That we're having today is to talk about that in a time much longer than that, people still aren't given the respect of equality. And so when you sit here and call people animals in other, you know, in other words, it's hypocritical, it's unpatriotic, and it's fucking ridiculous. You should celebrate struggle with compassion. That's why I decided to do at the restaurant. I give everyone an orange who comes to eat here. Because that's what my grandfather got here as a poor kid in the city of Chicago for Christmas every year because that's all he could get. An orange. That's how I celebrate him. And that's how I celebrate others who maybe that's all they can afford is an orange for Christmas or whatever it may be. You celebrate struggle with compassion. And then again, you say, oh, well, destroying your communities, you know, what does that do? Well, you're destroying your communities with your mouth. What comes out of your mouth is looting and disenfranchising and supporting, you know, a corporatist agenda for which you're probably against anyways. So I just don't understand where you can't, you know, you can't meet in the middle here. You can't understand. You're looking away. And it's shameful. It's absolutely shameful. And I just don't understand why, why you, you, you fail to, you know, see struggle for what it is and attempt to relate to that. But also it's just family values that we as Italian Americans embrace. Standing up for yourself, standing up for others, you get respect by earning it. Never kick somebody while they're down. Could you imagine how that feels like in this moment? People are down. And you're kicking them while they're down. You're a coward. You don't represent the reasons for which your fellow members of family came here from a place you can't even locate on a, a map or pronounce your own last name. As I told you before, when you got here, they despised you too. And you figured it out. And you were given the respect. For whatever reason. You have it now. So help out others. Because what you're doing is hypocritical on many levels. But it's most hypocritical to yourself. You honestly think when you bash, you know, people and call them animals that you're safer or going to live in a better world? How is that possible? If you fail to accept neighbors, how are we ever going to live in the same neighborhood? We're not. But it's on you. 
It's on you. Everyone is complicit. We all have responsibility. You are failing to do your part. Truth be told, it's most likely that your legacy of being Italian in Italian America does not extend to the history of Christopher Columbus. Cristoforo Colombo. So can we get over that too? I understand being proud of Italian, being Italian, what it represents to you for whatever reason. But just remember during that time, it was probably a lot, you, you, your family probably lived a lot different than Christopher Columbus. Not even in the same area, because most of us come from Southern Italy by very extreme large numbers. And there are also words that you need to understand exist in Italian that also discriminate against you for being of Southern Italian origin. I've been called it here I've been called it when I travel to Italy, and it's upsetting. But you have to understand that you represent a piece of history as well. And you come from a history which also despised you at one point, and still may do. But they don't despise you based on the color of your skin. So let's get over ourselves, okay? If you want community, if you want loyalty, why can't you just relate to simple core family values of respect, generosity, same values which I'm sure you learned in your own household? reasons for which you are super proud and understand people who are struggling. I, 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 I think we'd be doing a, a, a favor to represent the struggle of Italian Americans, to represent the struggle of others by understanding the struggle of African Americans and certain prejudices that exist based on the pigmentation of your skin. You guys are hypocrites. Whatever you learned at your dinner table, you can unlearn it. I've tried to be a tool in certain, you know, it's not because, you know, I've been bashed by you guys because I'm so-called educated that I went to school and learned all these crazy theories, you know, in the liberal arts. But no, you don't have to go to college, high school, grammar school to understand that you can die in such an unnatural way for such an unnatural reason. Figure it the fuck out. But it's real and we see you. You're not an ally. You don't want community acting like this. So figure it out.